Hello everyone. Welcome to ParentAware, where we provide parents with information they can use to keep their kids safe. I'm Sergeant Brian Gunsley with the Orange County Sheriff's Department, and today I'm going to show you how to search your child's room. Dude, that's cra- oh, is it- oh, it's one ear? It's one ear? The audio is not, uh, a dual? Hold on, hold on, we'll fix it. Make it mono! We'll force it mono, okay? There it is. The first step is to remove the child, or the teenager in this case, uh, from the room. You don't want them in the room because their protests may distract you from doing a thorough search. Oh my god. Dude, is there a cop that just can't be a fascist in his like normal life? What's up with that? Why are they like, why can't they be normal, dude? Like, all right, so you're going to come in and tactically ascertain the situation and uh, engage in a kinetic, kinetic action to remove the perpetrator child away from his uh, Nintendo Switch. Uh, stop resisting! Stop resisting! Like, Jesus Christ. Hey, pal. Gonna need you to leave the room. Thanks. We'll talk later. Dude. Child with a five o'clock, five o'clock shadow. <laughs> like, all right, <"F> you. <laughs> I'm gonna go f stepmom right now. <laughs> this is hilarious, dude. It's important to search your child's room every once in a while, like I would say about every six months. Unless you suspect that they're using then you're going to want to do it more often. The way I would search this room is to split it into sections. So this would be my first section to do, and then another section would be maybe this area right here, and then the closet, and then this bed, and then probably anything that's on the floor. So what I recommend is to start searching from top to bottom and then left to right. So here I would start just searching in this plant and then go across to the right and then we'll search into whatever um, containers that are here. I always want to look inside the containers and inspect things. Dude, that's like, it's like oral steroids. <laughs> See here we have a container with, looks like a place for someone to hide something. So I'm going to hang on to that. Certainly want to talk about that in a little bit. And then just kind of look through everything. Um, when it comes to books, you just want to search through all the pages and just make sure that they're not reading anything uh, radicalizing, you know, uh, the Communist Manifesto, for example, or uh, the bread book. See if you see anything. Here we have a picture. It looks like of a child with a gun to their head. Um, this may indicate that. Um... <laughs> no, no, dude, what the f Oh, that's too much. That's, I'm sorry. That's hilarious, dude. My 35-year-old uh, teenager uh, drew a stake figure uh, killing itself with a gun. They're thinking about committing suicide. So that's something that we want to talk about with our child. Yeah, um, if your child is drawing stuff like that, uh, you know, it's probably not because you're uh, routinely doing ocular pat-downs and tactically ascertaining whether or not they have any sort of uh, illicit substances in their room. And it's probably because, you know, some other stuff. Maybe the drugs are making them do it. You know, the, the fake drugs that you think they're, you suspect that they're on all the time. I love the music playing in the background as he's like, yeah, if you have... Uh, if you detected that your uh, child is having suicidality, uh, what you must do is uh, <laughs> continue your search and seizure. Uh, you're, we're going to do a little bit. Uh, we're going to do a thing called the uh, civil asset forfeiture. So here, oh, here we have something. Uh, this looks like a scale of some sort. So that could be used. A scale disguised as a video game. Damn, this kid's cooking up dope in the crock pot, dude. Respect. This kid's selling, boys. Um, by someone who's maybe purchasing. Uh, folks, this is known as contraband. Purchasing drugs or selling drugs. So that's something that's disguised. We'll hang on to that. What kid has like a like a copy of a video game that has like a scale in it? You know what I mean? Now here's something that looks like a container of some sort. Okay, this kid's 100% selling drugs. Straight up. This is a kid that's selling the most drugs. Let's be real. It's inside. We have hidden in here. We have some, looks like marijuana. 
so I'm... Bro, let him smoke weed. Come on, dude. He, he has a cop father. You're really going to stop him from smoking ganja? Are you kidding me, dude? Let the kid blaze up, pussy. He, his life is already sad as f I'm going to hang on to this. We're going to have a little talk about that. Um, this is a concern because some teens use this to get high. They can use this as a huffing device. So if you have dust off or any, any type of computer duster in the room, we want to remove that because that could be used as something uh, dangerous and that could be deadly. Or they like clean their computers, dude. What the fuck? And also, it's very important to be respectful of the child's property um, when you're doing this because, um, you know, it's, it's just the appropriate thing to do. Here we have a vaping device. Um, we're going to hang on to that. What? Oh, didn't Eric Adams already make this video? Every cop has made this video. This is like a common cop thing. Here we have some more. Uh, if you find some condoms, that means that your child is actually having sex, which is a big no-no, obviously, because uh, we want to make sure that they are, uh, stay a virgin and uh, uh, so that they can also one day become a sexually frustrated cop like me. More clothing. Looks like everything's okay there. Oh, we have a pipe hidden inside some socks. We'll go through here. Nothing in that drawer. And then if you notice anything that's unusual in the bro, that's his jerk off napkins, dude. Are you kidding me? That's literally his jerk off uh, napkins. Oh my God, dude, this, this is room. Insane. Like this is you know, toilet paper. That's kind of unusual. Nothing. I don't see anything with that. Um, Ajax, I don't know why this would be in the, in his room. So I would inspect that a little better. In fact, here we have another container. Okay, the kid's an idiot if he's putting the Ajax in the bottom of the drawer. Why wouldn't you put it in the bathroom drawer, you know, under the sink or some shit? You know what I mean? Put it in a place where, like, it's supposed to be. That we will talk to him about. And certainly you want to collect all these items. Uh, they shouldn't have them in their room. I mean, obviously it's staged. That's the real reason. But, like, I'm treating it as if it's real so I can react better to it. And here I have a couple of little baggies. It looks like they may have had some drugs in them or something at some point. So that's another indicator. Your son might be the next El Chapo. I mean, he came in like succession, like fuck off. And then was like, he literally was like, fuck off, Chet. I'm going to look at your Rome. I'm your daddy. And now he's just like going through his shit. So this looks like it might be something. I'm familiar with, with this as a container. So this is something that people can buy online. God damn, this shit's intricate as dude this is like yo at that point you got to respect the hustle dog what the f he is literally an entrepreneurial person okay that's cool by the way this is having the reverse effect all the teenagers in my chat right now are like damn these are like really sick stashing items that you can easily purchase on amazon so yeah if you're a kid you're a teenager and you got dickhead parents like this and you just want to like smoke weed in peace there you go there's here's one way that you can hide it allegedly in a video game of course you would never do that because it's illegal in in some places i would never suggest such an illegal act but i'm just saying like you know clearly there's a lot of very cool ways to stash uh there's a lot of very cool ways to stash shit apparently line these hidden compartments so as, as you can see it has liquid above and below but the container, it's a false, uh, you know, container in the middle that people can hide things. Also, I've never seen that Mountain Dew and I'm a big fan. I had a fake electric outlet compartment in my room growing up for nothing in particular. In there. Hang on to that. Journals are good to, to go through. What the f***? He's like, read through your kid's journal? Are you serious? Okay, dude. I mean, Jesus Christ. There's like 
certain parts of this i'm like okay like if you're a parent and you suspect your child's like doing drugs or like especially hard drugs you know what i mean you want to like you know you, you should probably talk to them instead of doing all this shit i mean god forbid you have a conversation with your kid but like reading their journal that's insane dude no wonder cops are such you know shit dads and victims of divorce court for the most part mother can't be normal like he can't stop being a cop um as a parent whoa they're you have every right to search your child's room. There is no legal problem with that. <laughs> no legal problem with that. You know, morality, cast that aside. I do that every day to be a cop, of course. Uh, but there's no legal problem with it. Thanks, man. I really thought I was going to jail for violating my child's privacy. Bro, I swear to God, this is like, this is literally the easiest way to never ever have your kids call you once they turn 18, okay? So be sure to take advantage of that and search your child's room while they're under the age of 18. Um, here, you know, we just want to take a look through um, the journal and just see if there's anything suspicious. And here's a page where it looks like they're drawing pictures. Of Here's a page called Doodles where he's, uh, you know, seemingly uh, drawing paraphernalia art. This has to be a parody. No, this is like unironically what the cops are teaching uh, people that watch these videos. Uh, marijuana references on here. And then um, usually just go through the bed. You can remove the, the, the sheets and all the bedding and just take a look at the mattress. Make sure the mattress doesn't have any openings in it um, where someone could put or hide something in here. Oh, here's some more pill bottles, and that may match up with the pills that we found here. So that's good to have. We'll need it. Yeah, it's like it, it, he stole stepmom's uh, Xanax. You know what I mean? You see Will at OTK Gameplay? Yo, game what's day? up, y'all? It's me, your boy Asmund's friend, and I'm going to be casting this with Hassan's friend. Hassan's friend, how are you doing today? I'm doing well, and I couldn't choose a better friend of a friend to cast with. These Fridays have become immortalized. Everybody knows it's OTK game day, and we are in for a hot day of basketball. A day of basketball, indeed. Dude, he loves this shit so much. This is the third he loves day, that as so we said, and that means it's the feel. He was working on ideas the, uh, on logos on how to sell the weed. Yeah. Find out more about that. And then you want to search find out more about why brenda hasn't been able to uh why brenda's been acting up now of course the reason why brenda's been acting up is because you know uh she doesn't have her zanny bars underneath and we have budweiser found underneath here <laughs> what okay so the last area that you want to search is now everything that's on the floor um so we have here some clothing that's on the ground and we'll just go through some clothes. Wait, hold on. My parents searched my room once, so then I just started coming all over everything. They stopped really fast. Respect. I mean, you're a sick freak, but also I respect it. Uh, also, Kagure2, thank you for the 10 gifted subs. 10 people now will be able to avoid the ad breaks at the top of the hour that are coming right now. That's right, because at the top of the hour, there's a 60 second ad break, a contractual obligation. Now, of course, there are multiple ways, methods, if you will, to avoid said ad breaks. Some of them are secret, like an Easter egg. You can find it on your own. Others are simple, like a $5 a month subscription. Or if you don't have $5 a month, you can use your cop dad's Amazon Prime account connected to your Twitch account, and you get one free Prime subscription a month. That's right. Twitch Prime is free. It's a free way to avoid ads and support your favorite broadcasting streamer. Um, anyway, uh, here it is. Yeah, break now. Clothing, of course, the pockets always is where you're going to find stuff. So these are indicated. You can also wait for gifteds to come through. Maybe, maybe it will. Chirpum is another person that gifted five subs. Five extra people that will no longer see the ads. You know? Sometimes you get lucky, other times you don't. Such is the way of leaders that, you know, they may be using drugs. And then, of course, the baller. Thank you for the five. Get this now, up. the best time to probably do a search is when your child is at school. Do the search of the room, and then when they come home, finish that search up by checking the backpack. Um, and can also have them removed, especially if you found all this. You're
Aiden Carlos, th 92, thank you for the five. You want to have them remove anything that's in their pockets and you want to check the backpack. And so in here, we're finding a few more items. This is a vape device. Let's see. And this, this is a highlighter, which you, appears to be a highlighter, but this is something that can be purchased online. And what it is... Oh my God. One of the people in the chat said they literally used to do this when they were a kid. They used to hide weed in the highlighter and, and the kid didn't know any better. Is for a their parents. pipe. Oh, never mind. It's a pipe. What the f And it just hides within the highlighter. Geophorio. Thank so you for when you're the five searching, sub. you want to definitely go through everything very carefully and inspect, inspect. That's sick as f I mean, how terrible. Oh no. Yeah, this is terrible, dude. This video is like one big advertisement for straight up just like teaching kids how to stash drugs by the way your parents are not going to watch this dumbass cop video things closely just in case you know your child has something like this hidden in there you're going to want to find it it's very important to conduct a safety search like this because you want to know whether or not they're using drugs best way to prevent adult addiction is to intervene early when they're young so this is the time to prevent a lifelong first of all like half the substances he pulled out are like not even like uh, physically addictive shit except for the pills it's like so what he's smoking weed dude jesus christ long uh, struggle with addiction thanks for watching parent aware i was at a garage sale as a kid and found some dude stash in a walk man part two of the jubilee oh shit hey, if you like this video please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos <laughs>